So now I think I'm just going to add a car to my traffic light system. So I need to go into Google Images and I'm going to find myself an antique car. And on the search tools, I'm going to check that the color is transparent. And that way, when I import uh, the car, uh, I won't have a white surround on it on my live code program. So I'm going to save my image and then I'm going to import it. So let's assume I've saved it. So I'll drop minimize that down and I go up here and I go file import as control image file and in my pictures folder I'm going to use well, I'll use this one here Press open. it's quite large so I'm going to go onto the edit tool double click on it and I'm going to go on to its size and position and its width is 960 and height pretty much 600 so I'm just going to divide both by 10 so it's sort of proportionate so I'll change this to 60 and now it's a bit small so I'm going to hold down the shift key while I resize it and I'm just going to move it up to the traffic lights and what's really important is to lock the size or position because if you don't do that then when you open up your program again uh, what happens is uh, it will just come in huge again so I'll make sure that's locked and I'm going to do control S and let's just see what's happening here so those are my traffic lights going around they're still not quite right because this isn't actually how traffic lights work but if you watch a video about traffic light sequence um, you can have a try at changing the code so that it works properly